Hey guys! So I am making a response video to Matt Crawford's Responding to My Hate Comments Part 2. I think he actually does a really good job with this video because he's super chill about all of the comments and you can tell that he really doesn't give a crap about anything that people have said. What I will always think when I see hate comments on YouTube is what is going through that person's mind when they're writing that? Like, did they really feel a lot better, like, saying he got dick slapped in the face too many times? Like, ooh, I'm gonna show him, like, ooh, yeah, like, oh, he, he's gonna be really sad right now. Click, send. Like, what? <laughs> no, he's gonna be fine. He is collecting his paycheck, honey, and he's gonna be fine. He's gonna, like, dab his eyes with that check that he gets from YouTube every month. So I am gonna read some of my hate comments. I love that I've only been on YouTube for a little while, but I already have hate comments. So I think that's how I've made it, you know? Wow. <laughs> the video that I did, the sur surprise sermon, um, where I did a sermon to Lady Gaga on the subway, check in the description for the link below. Um, so, number one, fag. Yeah. Um, oh, this one's great. So, LOL, this is embarrassing. The guy is mentally unstable bottom gay with no music taste. So, first of all, I want to stop people bottom shaming. It is literally just your sexual preference. It does not have any commentary on the kind of person you are, the kind of build that you have, your personality, nothing. So the fact that he's calling me a bottom, like, okay, thank you. Like. It looks like I can take a dick. <laughs> oh, thank you. So this was a video that I did in response to the inauguration and to them removing the LGBT page from the White House website. These ones are like really intense. They got really upset. So Harley Quinn, you claim not to be ignorant, which I never did. I never claimed not to be ignorant. So I don't know what she's talking about. And yet you don't realize that Trump is a Christian. There were other candidates besides Hillary and Trump. America voted him in. Apparently, the majority of our country wants a Christian America, a nation under God. Trump said that he is going to upload the, uphold the Constitution and our country that was founded as a nation under God. Read the Bible and see what it says about your concern. America is truly going to be great again. I think the Bible has plenty of words to say about the kind of person that Trump is, but I'm going to let you read the Bible and figure that out. Thank you for your comment. Ooh, yeah, this one. Look, gay Stapo, you don't need any outside help in that department. You are deleting yourselves. You are your own worst enemy. Just keep sucking and fucking yourself into oblivion. And I love that uh, Music Arshad responds, I'll take that job of sucking Glenn into oblivion. I, I really, I just, when I see these comments, I don't really get upset, but I just want to know, like, did they really sit down, watch my video, and say, Ooh, I'm gonna make him feel bad. Like, this will show him. Meow! Why are you so angry? <laughs> like, what did, what did a gay person ever do to you? Okay, so this one. Ooh! Okay, here we go. Um, Franny Moo D says, Not me. One of the happiest days I've had for a long time. Trump is the best thing that has happened to the world for eight years. LGBT off the website is just another bonus. Cleaning out the swamp. That's not what that phrase means. But that's fine. And not pandering to the filthy left is so refreshing. Bringing God back into the White House is really heartwarming and giving many people hope of a better future. You have no right to be a sodomite. It's sin against God. I know, I know, you love your sin, you don't want to change, you think it's normal. But believe me, it's not normal, it's abnormal. It's disgusting. It's offensive to normal people, you need to repent and be saved, admit you're a sinner to Jesus Christ and let him purge you of this demonic spirit. If you want help and happiness, Jesus is the only way! Or if you want hang on your filth, hell awaits you! Wake up! You felt alone and helpless because you are! But with Jesus Christ, you never feel like that. He is the joy and the strength of every believer. Stop trying to push your evil agenda. We are sick of it! Whoo! This lady wrote a freaking novel. I appreciate her for her passion. She is clearly very passionate about her religion. 
Um, and I respect that. I respect that. I wish, and the only thing that I'm that passionate about is Chipotle. I wish that I was as passionate about something as she is. So like, thank you for your passion. I appreciate it. That's not the, the kind of Jesus Christ that I want to know. Jesus that is just pure love and acceptance and that God is love and created you because he loved you and Christ gave his life because he loved you. Like, that's the religion I want to be a part of. Not this hateful, scary religion. Mm, I don't want any part of that. That is not the Christianity that I want to believe in. So yeah, those were my beautiful hate comments. And what I want to say to people that are dealing with hate comments, I want, I think that these people feel like they don't have control in their own life. And so they're gonna write mean comments and put me down uh, because it makes them feel better, it makes them feel more powerful. But the truth is, I know that I'm enough, and so nothing they say can change that. So what's the point? Let's make YouTube a more friendly place. Let's get rid of the hate comments, and let's actually build each other up. So if you are commenting, make sure you're being constructive and not trying to break them down or lift somebody up. And if you get some hate comments on uh, your YouTube page, understand where it is that they're coming from and you'll be able to deal with those hate comments better. So as always, thanks for watching guys and find your light. Repent your sinful ways! <laughs>